There, I am willing to bet, is going to be a lot more stuff to come out. I hope that's not the case, but, um... Given how wild 2023 is here, folks, uh, anything can happen. Jesus Christ, man. And thus, those words come back to haunt ya boy. Because guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We are back for round two to address Colleen Ballinger. Yes, we have another update, folks. Let's just get into this. And this video was presented to you by Dexerto with this article titled... Colleen Ballinger's lawyers deny YouTuber is copyright striking toxic gossip train reaction videos. And being in denial is one of the best go-tos when it comes to being guilty. Lawyers for Colleen Ballinger, aka Miranda Sings, are denying that the YouTuber is copyright striking reaction videos using her viral apology song, Toxic Gossip Train. Colleen Ballinger is an OG YouTuber who first started her channel back in 2008. Over the years, she became a staple on the platform and was best known for her comedic character named Miranda Sings. In 2020, Ballinger was accused of grooming her young fans after a former fan named Adam McIntyre uploaded a video exposing his conversations with the YouTuber. Although Ballinger responded to the situation and the allegations died down, they returned in 2023 when McIntyre uploaded a second video discussing her treatment of himself and other fans. And like I did in the previous video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also going to link you guys to that video in question in the description of this video as well. It goes into a lot of details that you really need to see to believe. And I'm already getting some bad feelings from this, folks. I am telling you now, I am smelling the bullshit. I am smelling the cat. After a few weeks of silence, Ballinger returned to YouTube with a video explaining her side of the situation. Notably, Ballinger said that her legal team advised her against saying anything about the ordeal, but realized they never said that I couldn't sing. Ballinger then sang a 10-minute song using a ukulele, comparing the allegations against her to a toxic gossip train pulling into Manipulation Station. And like I said in the previous video about that, this, let me say, again, has to rank as possibly the worst apology video that I have ever seen in the long, sad history of bad apology videos. And there are a lot of keepers out there, ladies and gentlemen, but this one right here, I got to say, ranks at the top. But not only is that video a cringe fest in and of itself, but it also comes off as completely disingenuous, mocking the situation, and it doesn't address jack shit in defense of herself in the face of all of these allegations, which I may add, has some really, really solid damning evidence to back up those allegations. Largely hailed as one of the worst YouTuber apologies ever, other creators were quick to upload their own reaction videos to Ballinger's response, but it wasn't long before they started noticing that their videos were being hit with copyright claims from CD Baby, where her song had been seemingly uploaded. Other fans claimed to have seen Ballinger's song on Apple Music, sparking even more backlash against the YouTuber for monetizing her apology video. And it isn't just monetizing her quote apology video, it's, look, it's not an apology video, it's a cringe video that gives you secondhand cancer, okay? Let's just call a spade a spade. That video is cancer. But aside from all of that, the fact that she somehow, some way, finds a way to gain from all of this negative attention is just so freaking baffling. And for her apology to be monetized, so for her to gain monetary value from that apology, as well as making it an official song, so that way she can hide behind the copyright mask and copyright troll and copyright abuse people that end up reacting and using her song in a fair use manner to react to, critique to, etc. Basically, under the properties of fair use, the fact that she is now stealing money from those individuals as well. I mean, what more do I need to say? This individual is fucking shit. However, Ballinger's lawyers are saying otherwise. Oh, this is gonna be a keeper right here, folks. 
In a statement given to news YouTuber Philip DeFranco and other news outlets, her legal reps claim that she did not monetize the song nor upload it to Apple Music. Miss Ballinger did not upload the video slash song to Apple Music or to any other streaming platform for sale or for any other purpose, the statement reads. Miss Ballinger has not monetized a song in any way. And that's kind of how I imagine her lawyers would sound like. Completely pompous, completely arrogant, and also completely stupid. The reps went on to say they weren't sure who had allegedly uploaded the songs to those platforms, nor who was responsible for issuing the content strikes, saying it was done without Miss Ballinger's knowledge or authorization. This latest news is leaving viewers even more confused, wondering who on earth could be responsible for taking action on Ballinger's behalf. For more information about the ongoing scandal surrounding YouTuber Colin Ballinger, be sure to check out our report right here on Dexerto. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I find most interesting. Okay, if Colleen isn't behind this copyright issue, well then who is? I mean, here is where I start to get really, really confused here, and also really suspicious about this too. Like, is she lying and trying to fabricate that, oh, someone else is doing this on my behalf, or her trying to claim that she didn't know that someone else was doing this on her behalf, but really it is her doing this, but just trying to come up with a shitty lie that doesn't add up, or, or is she using someone else as a scapegoat in her defense to go through with all of these false copyright strikes so that way by technicality she can say she didn't do it i mean here's the thing ladies and gentlemen is that all of this is just a bunch of fucking words i mean we need to see some proof we need to see some receipts otherwise I'm just going to go ahead and chalk up this bullshit response from her lawyers as exactly that, 100% bullshit. Like, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen, the timing of all of this taking place, the subject matter taking place in this situation, with all of what is going on and now we have this, I mean, it's a little bit too convenient, wouldn't you all agree? I really, really don't think that this is just some crazy-ass coincidence that all of this stuff is happening in this general period of time. So unless I'm shown authentic proof otherwise to actually back up what we had just responded to, I 100% call cap on this. But hey, with that being said though guys, that right there is just my own opinion and takeaway on the situation. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Either way, I'd love to hear back from you amazing people in the comments down below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you guys next time.